silence. What might it mean? Does it mean anything at all? Could it be a signal of the end? Or of possibility? A hand extended, as John Berger once said? Or is it a silence of despair? When I began working on my recent project, Last Whispers, which is dedicated to dying languages, I was stunned by the sheer scale of silencing, by the sheer scale of this extinction. Every two weeks, the world is losing a language. Out of 7,000 languages spoken on Earth today, at least half will have fallen silent by the middle of the century. Some predict a far more radical future or other lack thereof for the world linguistic diversity. At an unprecedented speed, faster than the extinction of most species, we're losing the variousness of the very tools and the very means by which we know ourselves, by which we describe the world and ourselves in it. Many of these languages, having never been recorded, are vanishing without a trace. Humanity is losing the knowledge, the variety of worldviews, the cosmologies that indigenous communities have for centuries encoded in these languages and cultures. Let there be no doubt, this is a mass extinction. By definition, it occurs in silence, because silence is the very form it takes. How can one address such an extinction? An obvious answer is to make what has gone silent sound, what has disappeared appear. I wanted to make what has vanished felt genuinely present, making what has gone silent feel alive and understood on the most visceral level. An octophonic, or in another edition, binaural, sound projection is perceived by human ear as present to us because our brain is prompted to perceive such sound as present. Virtual reality as a medium is most effective at creating an experience of presence. This aspect is at the very core of the medium. And thus VR was perfect for the task of evoking presence in order to describe loss. Last Whispers is an advocation of the languages that have gone extinct and an incantation of those that are endangered. Yet it's not a requiem, it's a lyrical poem. My team, sound designer Mark Mangini, animator Amanda Tasse, emblematic group VR engineers and its founder Noni de la Peña wanted to address the issue of language extinction, but also communicate our wonder, the wonder at an extraordinary diversity of the human global chorus, at how amazingly varied is our human capacity for the first and foundational creative act, the act of language. My name is Lena Herzog, I'm the author, director, and producer of Last Whispers, an immersive oratorio for vanishing voices, collapsing universes, and a falling tree.